Welcome to Abby Pie's new podcast, Grow With No Code. I'm your host, Dami, and in today's podcast, we'll be discussing commerce trends, movers and shakers in the industry, and how you can maximize every opportunity. Every now and then, we'll have a guest on the show to give us their takes on the ever-expanding space, make predictions, and hopefully drop some helpful tips. Today, we're discussing the ever-rising precedence of mobile shopping. Was this inevitable, or is this an echo of the COVID-19 shutdown? Let's go to the stats. 89% of retailers say digital and e-commerce platforms need improvement. 32% of retailers are also looking to launch or improve their social media sales. 31% want to better their e-commerce apps to deliver a more seamless omni-channel experience for their customers. Here are some observations around the retail space. Buy buttons have become commonplace in social media apps, with one-click checkouts being very easy to use. Think Apple Pay, Samsung Pay, Google Pay. With credit card use declining during the pandemic, household debts decrease. But could they soon recover? Enter Buy Now, Pay Later. A form of payment that is interest-free and offers paying in instalments. With much easier access to finance, new consumers are flooding the market, boosting retail sales and encouraging extra spending. The European adoption of Buy Now, Pay Later schemes has really taken off. The percentage of online transactions using a buy now pay later has massively increased. In Sweden, it's at 23%, in Germany, 19%, and in the UK, at 5%. In fact, through using buy now pay later schemes, it's estimated that around £103 million has been saved in credit card fees in the UK. 57% of merchants reported an increase in basket conversion and 47% reported an increase in the average order value. But why? Could it be because Buy Now Pay Later offers flexibility for consumers and has introduced a brand new class of consumer to the market that wasn't traditionally eligible for credit? Amazon has said that they may stop accepting UK issued Visa credit cards from January 2022. Perhaps the cost per transaction is getting too high post Brexit. Could they start accepting crypto? And could crypto-backed financing become a common thing in the retail space? Many financial institutions are already looking into the use of crypto for purchasing and allowing the purchase of crypto on their own platforms. We're finally seeing the death of traditional retail. The way shoppers will interact with their purchases is changing and the role of the sales assistant in a brick and mortar store will also change. Some retailers are using augmented reality to show products in the home or even directly on the consumer. IKEA's augmented reality powered shopping app is a textbook example of making the best of a mobile platform. It allows users to check how the furniture will look by superimposing on the actual living space. Legacy IT has been another prominent concern for retailers post pandemic, given their increasing reliance on digital infrastructure and trying to create the optimal digital performance. In essence, retail is going digital. As shoppers are relying more on their phones for online shopping, shopping apps are becoming the go-to channels to place orders. Just to give you an idea of what this looks like. In September 2020, Lidl launched its shopping app Lidl Plus. 30 days later, it had the most downloads of all shopping apps on both Android and iPhones. 600,000 times on the Google Play Store and 700,000 times in the Apple App Store. On iPhones, the Amazon app has over 2 million daily active users in Great Britain alone. It's a digital revolution. Using a digital wallet for payments is also becoming more popular, especially for the younger generations. The Generation Z using them the most, while only a third of UK millennials have said they use mobile and digital wallets for their payments. Buyers have so many payment options. The conventional credit card, online merchants like PayPal, Buy now, pay later, and even crypto, and these can be very easily integrated into your mobile store. It's worth noting that building a mobile commerce app can be quite a considerable investment. You may need to spend time and money on development, consider security, work out how you're going to manage your data, spend time on design, and then obviously implement your payment gateways. And if you're international, how your customers going to pay? you'll need to make sure to offer the most popular forms of payment based on your location. There's a much wider audience with around 81% of the world's population owning a smartphone. Businesses need to continue embracing mobile commerce and make sure that they have an app or a mobile optimized web store 
for the customers to interact with. The user experience will need constant improvements as it's key for conversion on mobile and customer support can now be 24 seven. The chatbot and omni-channel messaging services assistance is more easily available. Chatbots have also grown in intelligence and intuitiveness, making them more efficient in dealing with common queries when agents are unavailable. So where do you fit in? Here are some things to think about as a business owner in the commerce space. Target audience. Who buys your product? Do you have an ideal buyer in mind? What platform do they use? Where do they spend their time? What speaks to them? What encourages them to buy? Leverage the data you collect to maximize your efforts. This is where product data management comes in. Organize your data to gain insights on your customers. Identify any recurring trends. What's your best selling product and why? Are you making the most of your email marketing? It's still a very effective way to engage with your audience. Make sure you maximize every opportunity. Do you have a newsletter? Consider your customer experience. Where do your customers find you? How do you interact with them? Do you have an app? Have you built a community? Consider using brand advocacy. Can you personalize? What does each unique user need from you? Lastly, on using AI, would your customer enjoy having digital assistance? There are already so many shopping platforms that have digital size assistance, which help the consumer order the correct size when online shopping. Is this something that you could adopt? Or is there a version that would work for your brand and business? Want to get started in the commerce space? We've got the solution for you. Sell everywhere with AppyPy Commerce. Enhance your sales with a customized app, design a mobile optimized website to showcase your products and build or integrate a point of sale. Share on your socials to widen your reach and improve your conversion today. Thanks for listening to Grow With No Code. Tune in next time to hear more about the death of traditional retail.